Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. So hello everyone. Um, in this video, we are going to learn about data flows in ADF. So data flows are not of low code, no code uh, like structures available in the existing ADF service itself. So how are they different? I mean, we don't have to write any code. It's a kind of graphical representation where everything is available in graphical representation. You, you need to drag and drop and then um, certain um, conditions are also available. How does they work? So that is how uh, the exactly data flows are. So to get a brief idea, it's one of the feature inside Azure Data Factory, which allows data engineers to develop data transformation logic in a graphical approach without writing any code. So the resulting data flows can be executed as an activity or within um, or you can use that data flows within the ADF uh, normal pipelines also. So your data will flow or run um, on the own cluster uh, for the ADF uh, which is working internally. So data flow, there are basically two kinds of data flows, uh, mapping data flow and a wrangling data flow. So how are they different? Um, in case of uh, mapping data flow, um, so the basic uh, differences uh, in case of mapping data flows, we use, um, you can create a data transformation logic that can use transform and any, I mean, you can transform any size data. You can build uh, or uh, you can use that reusable library of data transformations. And if you want to execute the data flow in the normal ADF pipelines also, you can directly re-execute it. So that, that are nothing but a mapping data flow. Uh, there's another called as control flow or a wrangling data flow. Uh, it's, it's a different concept. Um, more, moreover, this wrangling data flows or control flows are not used uh, not used in the sense it's a kind of orchestration um, you can invoke that process in the normal pipelines but the primary focus would be mapping data flows only so what we will do is we'll head over to the azure portal how does it work we'll get a basic understanding yep so we are in this azure portal um, so to get started with as i've said follow the hierarchy, follow the process at the topmost is the subscription. You can enter subscription here. You can search subscription. There are certain suggestions by default available. The subscription is already available, but to get used to it, we need to first type subscription. After subscription, you would get the all subscriptions you have available. We have, we are using as of now, we are using free trial. If you go to free trial, if you scroll it down, resource group, the second most, uh, you need to select that resource group. Once you open that resource group, um, you find these uh, data factories available uh, here. Uh, the data flow is a part of data factory. So I, you can open this um, launch studio. So I've opened this at my end. Uh, so what we will do is uh, once this is opened, I mean, once this opens, uh, let's open this in a different format. Uh, we'll get an idea. So once you open this, um, Recent resources you can, I mean, as we have worked on certain link service and data set creation and data pipeline uh, copy activity, you might find certain resources, recent resources here. But our primary focus here would be on this tab, author tab. Um, author tab is where we write or where we create pipelines. So if you open this, you might find multiple options available here, pipeline, capture, change capture, change data capture, data sets, data flows, and power query. So we are going to learn about what are data flows. As I've said, uh, low code, no code, and graphical representation format. So if you click on this, there would be three options available, new folder. You can create intern folders in data flows where you can merge multiple data flows together. New flow, flowlet, uh, this is a different concept, but for now we will work on on the new data flow, what exactly a data flow is. So here you might see a kind of different structure as compared to a normal pipeline. Uh, in pipeline, you might see activities tab available here, but here it by defaultly takes the graphical representation. You can add a source here. So we will add a source. 
you can add multiple sources so in this can i mean in this video what we are going to do is we are going to take two different sources sources would be same we are going to do a normal join where if you do it in pipeline um, you need to take a source both of the sources you need to write a query and from which sources you are trying to take that activity you need to write there then only you can use these um, i mean you can create or you can write a join condition but whereas in case of data flow as it's a graphical representation you can take multiple data sources i've taken two data sources source one and source two um, so if you click on source one you might find source settings options available source options projection optimize inspect data preview so the basic use here is the first tab only where you can change it so what we are going to do is we are going to join a normal csv file here so both uh, files i mean the csv file what we have is already a same file we are going to join that same csv file but uh, that file is available in two different sources um, the source is nothing but uh, a storage account or a blob container but that file we have kept in two different folders so here you can write or you can change the source one uh, so source dot csv file um here the option uh, you need to create a data set same like uh, which we create in normal pipelines so for now i mean i have already covered how to create a data set how to create a link service so i have already created a data set here source data blob connection um, we will validate the schema um, allow schema drift is not selected a validate schema sampling is disabled we will go to second source you can add multiple sources if you scroll it down go on adding multiple sources so for now we have only added two sources um, let me scroll it you can minimize this window this way also plus and minus also available there is a search bar available here towards right the same is also available in pipelines so in source 2 i'll change it to source dot csv file 2 um we will again use the data set here validate schema so what exactly is key allow schema drift uh, what is infer drifted column type this we would cover uh, you can check there are certain information icons also what does it refer to but for now we are only using validate schema to get an understanding how a basic data flow would work um this is done um wild part parts this is not required i guess invalid characters must start with an alpha character source file 2 so that is gone so how a data flow is what we'll do is we'll create a normal join here if you click and add sign here you might find multiple options available you can filter data you can sort you can alter a row you can change the column type also you can alter a row uh, you can use a sync destination where you can copy these two uh, sources to a destination directly without any coding uh, in normal pipeline also we can directly copy um, uh, we can use a copy activity and directly do it but if there are multiple um copies uh, there are i mean multiple data sources it's a kind of long pipeline so there you might need to write a certain code uh, wherever required what all data you want so here in data flow there isn't any code directly the graphical representation and kpis a kind of kpi like structures are available just like power bi um so what we will do is we'll we'll do a join condition here once you click here this join is connected to source one only if you check here we are on the join one this representation you can use join condition this we would change it source file one this is gone so here um, you might see output stream name you have changed it to join condition description you can add a description left stream is source one uh, source file one right stream you need to select the right stream as it it isn't i mean we have directly created it with uh, 
the extension to the source one you can write uh, you can um, use the right connection so once this is done yeah you can see the joint condition here this is how the joint condition would look like uh, there are joint types uh, full join inner join left join right outer so for now basic inner join we are going to use um, fuzzy matching we are not going to use anything here so you once you so as i said fuzzy matching we are not using um so we have two sources uh, one is blob connection and second one is a uh, sql connection we also have same blob connection also so you can find source target which we have created in previous uh, video um while data set creation so one of the drawback here of the data flow is uh, you cannot copy uh, data or you cannot join data from the same data source even though i mean the source and target are a part of um, a kind of storage account a blob connection so you cannot join these together that's one of the drawback uh, both should be in different concepts or different uh, uh, storage accounts uh, so for that purpose uh, i've created a sql connection um, we were in the join condition here so let me hide this pull it up so towards left we are joining it with id double equal to with id again so here you can find there is a type mismatch why because here id is uh, abc and here id is integer so both data types should be of same name then only it would consider this is one of the primary drawback um, ideally we have to change this id uh, to abc or this id to abc so either of them would work uh, this is the basic implementation and once uh, the join condition is done you can sync it to the destination you can dump that to any particular location you can change target here you can dump it to sql also let me scroll it down settings so allow insert where do you want you can recreate a table what all table actions you want you can recreate a table here so we i mean i'm not running this as of now a data flow debug i'm not debugging it as there is a type mismatch but to get an understanding we i have created how exactly a data flow would look like so the drawback here is we cannot have same data source uh, you need to have uh, a different data source um, or maybe if you are taking same data source either it should be from the different storage account not the same storage account so for now we what we did is we have taken source one file a kind of csv from storage account source two from seek we have used a join condition and in join condition uh, there is a mismatch uh, due which we have haven't run this data flow and we can ingest the target and we can ingest the data into target it uh, directly so this is how it would work once you debug it the data would be available in the target so either you have to create a table or else what it would do is you can write i mean you can give multiple options allow insert allow up say uh, allow up absurd allow update allow delete so either of them would work uh, so once you select allow insert and table action is none if the table is already created it won't create if the table is not created it would recreate the table or if the table is already there it would truncate and it would again dump the data so recreate table yeah it would recreate and it would dump the data again so this would work once you debug it the data would be available so what we would do here is uh, we will try to make a join condition we would delete this let's run drop this table i'll make it to abc only that is where care of type size 20 let's create this table let's insert these values this is done we will move back here so uh, for now join condition we haven't there is a type mismatch so in source file 2 so settings open this is done preview data this is done there is a mismatch again rather what we do is we'll create a new connection it is a sql server continue ksr practice underscore sql underscore connection to so we already have a link service we will use this link service click on okay 
connection two is available and join condition. Now you can see the ID is changed. The data type is changed. So you can perform a join and you can ingest data. Batch size, list of scripts, nothing is required. So the sync connection is required. Join the condition is coming. So once this is done, we will publish the changes. Now the changes would be published. So how does a validate work? Yeah, your data flow has been validated. No errors have been found. Now this we would run debug time to live. You can select once you run this data flow, the data would be available in this target practice connection. Data flow debug cluster is ready. Yeah. The data preview is also available. If you want to set anything, you can set here in debug settings. We want to follow um, pass certain parameters. You can pass parameters as well. Yep, that's all for this video. Um, for this session, we have we have created how to create a data flow and how to move data from different data sources with the help of a normal join condition. We can do multiple conditions here. Maybe we can use a join condition. We can use a, we can alter the data of a particular table and then again dump it to the source or dump it to some other location. We can merge, we can append. There are multiple options available here. So this is the basic introduction data flow where there isn't any use of code, only graphical representation of uh, a, a kind of KPI like structures or uh, drag and drop structures are available.